It's about the logos, right? The more logos you have, the cooler you are. But in reality, it's all, of course, about the Liga de Vox culture. It's not about the logos, come on. They do nice t shirts and everything. So, people, process, and technology, share the knowledge, be nice, meet new people, socialize if, if you're into that. If not, it's fine. Um, on a more serious note, we have a code of conduct. Um, there's a lot of wording there that basically says be nice to each other, <coughs> to your left, to your right, introduce yourself, meet new people, don't start shouting that you like Emacs over VI and stuff like that. It just gets nowhere. <laughs> so, in case you want to locate us, uh, you have the organizers, uh, that's me, Mark Lue. That's the only time you'll see me with the, uh, an actual suit. You have Mr. Matson that's feeling quite miserable over there with the man flu. <laughs> uh, you have uh, Jack Moore who uh, cannot make it today because he's on daily duty. And uh, Mr. Alex Nova. Hello. Oh. So he's recording today. Hello. Thank you for that, Alex. That's a surprise. Yeah, it was a surprise. Oh. <laughs> Um, if you want to tweet anything, if you want to put hashtag London Devils, that's very nice, that way we can see it. And anything that you put, if you like the pizza or not, or you like the place or not, or you hate the presenter, it's fine. It's, it's all good. So, we here, thanks to John Lewis and partners. So, a big round of applause for John Lewis. They're doing great. like to hand over the microphone now, so we can do a small uh, pitch, a small intro, so here we go. Small intro, very small intro. Um, well, I, I, I'm not sure that everybody knows John Lewis, but you maybe know this yeah, man so here, Alan John, and our um, <coughs> adverts. Um, you may have seen some of the Twitter banter that we've had with Little. It's a little bit cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> I think we responded then with an even cheaper toy keyboard, and it's even more cheaper. But uh, uh, you, you may also have seen the, the, the news and the press today, everybody, all the retailers announcing their um, their sales figures. Um, and uh, well, John News look has, has done pretty well, up two and a half percent. There's still a profit warning, and we may not be getting a bonus. I'm looking at some of the other partners here. We may not be getting a bonus this year. And one of the big call-outs, the reasons why, uh, is that we're spending so much money on IT. I think I'll take the call that out. That's, that's, I'm not sure that, that's a good thing or a bad thing, but, but we are investing heavily. So uh, a little bit uh, about me first. Sorry, um, Simon Scallon. So I'm actually uh, titled IT Program Manager. Um, but I've got a, an upcoming focus on looking at uh, DevOps and leading us into a, a DevOps kind of transition. Uh, probably less technical than the, the topics here, but as, as some of the previous slides said, it's, it's a lot about kind of culture, people, and process. And I think that's probably the harder part of some of DevOps and the, the, the technologies uh, a lot of the time. So I'll, I'll be focusing on that and leading us through um, that, that kind of side of things. <coughs> Um, so just yeah, just one. Uh, I haven't got too many slides, so don't worry about it. I just wanted to put up a slide with lots of logos on. So I, I borrowed one from some of my uh, my colleagues. Um, we're we're on a journey at the moment, and I would definitely say we're probably where where you guys are. We're on uh, the early stages of our journey with uh, with DevOps. Um, a little bit more mature with Agile. We've got um, well, 20 plus teams, I think, in in. in Agile product teams, um, so get, getting quite big on that. We've been working with the, the likes of Dan North on on that um, and various other kind of Agile kind of coaches. Uh, so I think we're we're maturing in that, which is really good. Uh, we've got a huge program of work and delivery to be doing, so it's quite an exciting time. Um, and uh, 
from a from a kind of cloud point of view, one of the big things we did last year was move the front end of JohnLewis.com from our on-premise setup here onto the Google Cloud platform. So we have some of the, the, the team over here that you can chat to later about what all this means. Um, well, I'm sure you, you, you guys understand it, but uh, what we're looking at doing, uh, you know, we've moved the presentation layer of, of JohnLewis.com onto the Google Cloud platform. Um, that's kind of step one, and uh, I mean, that's been really good, and I think what we've uh, built in Team Nimbus, as we call it, our cloud team, I think aptly named, is very good. Um, I think, you know, we've set uh, a really good direction and we've seen such increased speed of uh, delivery in that uh, you know, that team was, is almost kind of getting overwhelmed <coughs> with the uh, uh, the appetite for all the rest of the parts of the business to be kind of moving on to that as well uh, which is which is a really good thing because it's successful um, and the journey that we've kind of got coming up is, is going to be a big one so particularly for JohnLewis.com we're running on an Oracle ATG uh, commerce platform a big monolith that slows down our agility and we're fighting now against the likes of Amazon and uh, uh, you know ASOS and, and, and people like that who uh, have got a probably a, a much more ingrained uh, engineering uh, culture so we are going through a journey of building um, building and a rebuilding I think probably our engineering culture to be able to carry on in this journey uh, so we're looking to move from our Oracle monolithic uh, package. I always love working with Oracle. Hopefully there's nobody from Oracle in here. But, uh, <laughs> uh, and, and to build out our own uh, build out our own services, our own microservices, uh, and, and move uh, more and more into the cloud. And we're looking to partner with Google. So I think they're very keen to come on this journey with us as, as a you know, <clears throat> pretty big retailer. They're really keen to partner with us and work on this. Um, so we really need to rebuild uh, and continue to build our engineering capability. Um, so I think the next few years is going to be really, really exciting. And all that money we're spending on IT hopefully will go to good use. Um, so that's pretty much it from me. I'll uh, just do <coughs> housekeeping. Fire escape, you see uh, exit signs that way, that way. Toilets that way, that way. Is that the way you do it? Uh, just run, follow everybody else, follow me. <laughs> don't run. Um, and uh, I don't know whether we, we have pizzas and what, anything else yet, or whether you want to do any more intro, how do you, you want to carry on? So it's great to have you all here. I'm sure we will learn a lot, and as with all these things, learning from each other is really key. So thank you for coming, and welcome to John Lewis. So, as usual, we have sponsors because, of course, all that pizza and all that beer doesn't pay for itself. So, we have Prism Digital. Uh, Mr. Alex over there. Anyone else from Prism Digital around? All by myself. You? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> if, if you want to change jobs, just go to and it's fine. Okay. In secrecy. We are also sponsored by Adapt at East. Uh, Mr. Matson, this works there. So, if for any reason you like Jira, <laughs> they are the best at Jira. And also at Confluence, which is actually nice. <laughs> we, we are also sponsored by O'Reilly. So, I have some O'Reilly swag here. So, if you want to have a look around later, you can grab it for free. So, one of the things I really like is telling you to go some other place. Uh, also come to my meetup, of course, but please go to other meetups. It's very nice. You meet nice people. It's, all being said, it's normally pretty much the same people everywhere, but <laughs> you might find someone new. You never know. So we have Linuxing in London on the 24th of January. It's good smart code mode. So just next to Liverpool Station or Morgate, so it depends on which way you're coming from. And we have the Docker London January edition. It doesn't say which year, so I hope it's this year. Um, it's on the 31st of January at the right move offices, so it's great. Um, we also have 
a conference coming up. It's DevSecOps Days London. So if you like DevOps and you're in security, uh, it's on the 22nd of March. Lucky me, I'm organizing that as well. So um, if you want a discount code, uh, contact me and I can give you one. I don't have any with me right now, but I will have to get back to you. Um, if for any reason you, you have to leave early just because <coughs> life in general, um, we record all the, um, all the talks and we try to put them as quickly as we can. Sometimes that means six weeks, sometimes it's the next day. So the mileage may vary. And of course, if you have any comment, anything that you want, maybe the pizza was cold or it wasn't enough or dollar beverage, um, please send us an email. If you want to talk as well, we're always looking for new oh, like Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, Wi-Fi card, something like that. Yeah, it's okay. So today we have two, not three, two very interesting talks. The first one is Mr. Matt Turner, who will be talking about do you need a service mesh? And I hope it's a sing along, so it will be very interesting. It's a <laughs> Nice. Um, then the second one is uh, rapidly prototyping a Python web app with AWS by Mr. Shirashu Shishurudiya. I hope that pronounced that right and it didn't talk it up. Um, and that's it. Um, hopefully, um, if our speech is not here, we'll just plug on and uh, we'll start with the first talk. And then when pizza appears magically, then uh, we'll just let you know. We'll just let you know, um, and then we do a small break for pizza. Sounds good? Yeah. Sounds good. Perfect. So without further ado, uh, Mr. Martana.